As a business owner, you need to be ready to shoot video at a moment's notice, even if that means using your mobile device. What if you have to capture a video testimonial? What if there's a convention in town? What if you want to shoot video of a project you just finished? While having the best video gear is fun, it's also a huge liability. It's expensive, it's heavy, it's attractive to theft, and it's expensive to outsource because you need a specialist to operate the camera. With a simple mobile video setup, you can be ready to shoot video for your business at a moment's notice. So today I'm gonna to show you how to create a video go bag that'll help you to capture great video that best delivers your message. Stay tuned, it's Owen Video. Owen Video! Hey, it's Owen Video. Welcome to the only channel on YouTube helping business owners create video marketing that drives traffic, generates leads, and gets more sales. If that sounds like something you're into, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Today we're gonna to be headed to downtown Vista and I'm gonna be showing you my mobile setup. Now this is exactly the setup that I use to just grab and go. This is my grab and go bag. It's the Bubbum bag. I'm gonna show you what I have inside as soon as we get there and I've got my tripod right here. Okay, so in an ideal situation, I'm grabbing these two things and I'm out the door and I'm shooting. How simple is that? Now, if you're the type of shooter that wants to go the distance and you want to have a little bit more advanced gear, this is my advanced gear bag, okay? This is a Gator case. It's a little expensive. It's got the hard shell outer coating with a nice steady grip handle so I can easily take this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of this stuff today, but I'm going to show you two setups, a basic setup and I'll pull this up for the more advanced setup. When I want to do a more advanced shoot, when I have a little bit more time, maybe it's a convention, maybe it's a conference, what I'll do, I'll put that down. So I'm gonna grab my backpack, okay? I got an empty backpack here, and I'm gonna put my case in the empty backpack, okay? So I've got, again, just very mobile and very easy to carry so I can go. Everything in my hands is probably less, right around 10 pounds, right? So super easy to carry. I can't even barely feel the backpack on my back. So let's head to downtown and start our shoot there. downtown Vista and I'm gonna go through the gear that I have in my go bag right here and uh, and let's take a look so the first thing that you're gonna need everyone's gonna need is a tripod and this is a Velbon I believe it's a 50 inch tripod you're gonna need to have something a little bit taller you got to make sure that's always at eye length and oh my goodness <laughs> Awesome. It's always so nice to run into our friends uh, in downtown Vista. Okay, so you, we've got the tripod and it's tall enough to make sure that the camera has the right level on you. The next thing you're gonna need, the next piece of equipment you're gonna need is an iPhone adapter that holds your smartphone, your Samsung, whatever it is that you're using. So let me show you what I have here. Okay, so there's a variety of, of iPhone adapters or smartphone adapters that you can you can buy on the marketplace. Here's a, an example of one that I've bought. Uh, here's an example of another one, it, it extends. And so there's a bunch of these that you can get. Now, the brand that I, that I actually prefer is these little guys right here. Now this is actually still on top of, of the tripod, um, uh, you know, adapter here. It gently, braces on to your phone and that's really important because you don't I've seen these things pop and slip off and your phone goes flying so you want to have that rubber grip it also extends so you can get even the largest of, of iPhones it's not gonna fit it's not gonna fit your iPad okay but this is gonna work for any smartphone that's on the market these cost around five bucks on Amazon so you can get a bunch you can spend twenty five dollars and get like five of them and you'll always have a backup. I have a bunch laying around the house. As you're looking at the tripod, you wanna make sure that you get a video tripod, okay? A video tripod is one that's gonna have an arm right here. And this way, you're, you're able to sort of loosen things up and you can kinda of do your, your pans very smoothly and you can do your tilts, right? Up and down shots very, very smoothly. Without this arm, you have to do that from here and that's gonna give you shake on the tripod, so you don't wanna have that. 
Uh, very, very key. And look at this. You want to make sure that your tripod is as level as you can handle it. So you can see that it's a little bit off right there. And if I were to sort of move that over right there, then all of a sudden, boom, I'm level. Okay. So now we're ready to attach your mobile device. And you, it depends on how you're going to shoot, but we can attach the mobile device. Right. And look at this. Now you've got a, a pretty decent, uh, a pretty decent setup. What a lot of people forget they forget to bring a backup charger. So always have a backup charger. Here's one I got at Social Media Marketing World. Okay, so you, you get your backup battery pack here, plug this in, you plug it into your phone and turn it on so you've got about four hours of shooting capability. Next thing that I wanna share with you is a mobile ring light. You're not always gonna need this, but this has got three different levels of lighting, kinda hard to see in the daytime, but this has got three different levels of lighting right here and it's got a clip on the back right that you can um, clip onto your iPhone with a USB charger right here which means you don't need any batteries to operate this you charge it up before your shoot you place it on the phone like this check it out you can clip it onto the phone you can clip it here you can clip it here even if you wanted to you could clip it over here and what's really great about this light is that if you're going to do selfie shooting if you're going to shoot towards yourself you can clip the light look at this onto the iphone and you can still get the front facing camera with all the benefits of the led light okay so that's one of the first add-ons i want to show you another add-on i want to show you is an allo clip lens adapter beautiful piece of technology this is your Allo Clip lens adapter. This green thing is just kind of the, the, the carrying case and I can pop this out right here. And I've got two different lenses right here. I've got a widescreen lens. Actually, that's the macro. I've got a macro lens there. So that's gonna be kind of like a fisheye. And then I've got the, the wide angle lens. And this is just gonna give me a widened view. Let me show you how this works. Okay, so you've got, you've got your iPhone. You've got your iPhone here and you've got your front facing camera and you simply put the clip on the camera, all right, and position it over the front facing camera, or you come onto the back here and you position that lens in front of the back uh, facing camera. It's my recommendation that you always have an Allo clip so that you can get the best shot. If you're at a convention center, if you're at a conference and you wanna get everybody, you wanna get the keynote, you wanna get a whole establishing shot, then having a wide angle lens like this is really, really going to help. Okay, the last piece that I want to show you now is I want to show you your microphone options. Now, your microphone options, you've got a ton of microphone options. You can get a wired clip that goes from your phone and just clips right onto you. That's going to give you sort of like some, you know, some distance uh, uh, restrictions. You're only going to be able to walk so far from the phone, right? So if you wanted to shoot yourself right here, you put the camera right here, and then you'd kind of come out here and you'd start to deliver your presentation to the camera. We can kind of, you know, put the bag on top of the legs, bracing this up just a little bit. Now, as cars drive by and as, um, uh, uh, you know, airplanes fly overhead, it's gonna be important to have a microphone that, that connects to you and you're not gonna wanna be too far from that microphone. So I'm gonna show you a couple different options and then I'm gonna go into the advanced options over here. The first option I wanna show you is a simple plug-in mic. You can see that it's there's not much to speak of here. It's just a microphone with a little clip. So you'd clip it onto your, yourself right here, okay? And then you would plug the rest of it into the camera. So now here's what I've got. I've, I'm able to shoot myself, okay, in frame and I've got a high quality microphone. So this is setup number one for with your, with your microphone. Let's take a look at setup number two. Setup number two is fantastic for doing a two person interview. So this is the Movo two person iPhone or, or smartphone adapted microphone. So it's designed to work directly with your smartphone. You clip one on to me here, you clip one on to your guest, then you would plug the mic directly into the camera. So now I've got a two person setup with the Movo mic. I could, I could be doing live interviews right here, okay, with these microphones and I can even turn the camera around, right, if I wanted to see myself in the picture. I can properly frame this up and now I've got a great looking setup. Now you guys might see that I'm not actually plugging the mic in and this is why. This is actually a dummy phone. This is a, a store-bought phone so none of the adapters will actually fit inside the phone. So if that threw you off, 
I just wanted to explain to you why that's there. Okay, now what I want to do is I want to get, I want to show you the two different luxury add-ons that come in that Gorilla Box right over there. Okay, I'm going to open that up and show you what's inside. So come on down. Now, what I'm going to show you in here is a a gimbal device. Now, a gimbal device is a handheld stabilizer. Okay, and this is going to stabilize your shot. It's going to make it so that you can walk with your iPhone and not get shaky, shaky video. So let's take a look at what's inside here. Okay, and you can see that first I've got the DJI Osmo. This is a phenomenal device. Let me show you how it works. This is the DJI Osmo Mobile Handheld Gimbal. This is not a inexpensive device. This is going to be around $200, $300, depending on when you put it in your shopping cart. You know, I put it in my shopping cart at like $250, bucks, and by the time I bought it, it was $300. Bucks. You know, a week later, it was down to $215. Bucks. So if you see a good price on it, you probably want to pick it up. Some things that you should know about the DJI is that it does have capabilities to add an arm, so you can add a microphone, you can add some additional tools there. The phone goes right here, and this is gonna be a handheld device so that as you're walking, it's gonna stabilize the shot. Now, let me show you how to put this on, and then I'm gonna show you some of, some footage of what it looks like to actually use. So, okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is extend the, the Osmo arm here, okay? Because it will fit just about any size phone, so you wanna make sure that it's fully extended so that it fits your iPhone just fine. And then these clips in here will will adjust as well, okay? So we'll open, see how I'm, I'm, I'm cranking that wheel and it opens those up. The phone is gonna go in, see I gotta open it up a little bit more. The phone is gonna go in just like this, okay? We just tighten that up so it's, you know, it's real nice, real nice and tight. Now what you're gonna wanna do is you wanna balance it on its own, okay? It's balanced on its own and then I click this little device here, this is the on device here, I'm gonna use my thumb to just kind of get that on. And now the, you can feel the device sort of turn on. And I'm able now, you can see with my thumb, I can make the phone rotate back and forth. I can go up, I can go down, but most importantly, you know, I can follow the action, right? And just get some real, you know, real smooth shot. And watch what happens. Just really focus on the gimbal. Watch what happens. Notice how this is facing me but the phone is sort of facing away, right? So it's uncalibrated or decalibrated. So I'm gonna need to kind of go back here and I'm just gonna sort of walk with it. Watch what happens. As I move the phone down, it automatically adjusts. And as I move it back up, it automatically adjusts again and I can turn it. It's staying stabilized, okay? Now, some things to know about the Osmo Mobile. As of right now, 2018 models, you cannot plug a mic in to the phone using this model because the mic adapter would go here and it doesn't fit with the brace. Now, you might be thinking, Owen, oh, you dummy, why don't you just flip the phone around? Well, hey, genius, I've done this before. When you flip the phone around, these little guys here will automatically turn the phone off. So you can't, it's right, there's some workarounds, it gets into using paper clips and stuff. I'm not even gonna show you how to do that. What I wanna tell you is keep an eye out for the newer models that might reverse it. I'll tell you this, for B-roll shooting, this is a perfect device, okay? So that is upgrade number one. Let me show you upgrade number two. Let's go back to the, let's go back to the kit here. What I wanna show you is a wireless iPhone lavalier. Not a lot of people know that this even exists, but this is the Samson wireless microphone system. And this attaches, check this out, right on the back of the phone here, okay? It attaches right on the back of the phone. There's a little screw in here that you would just kind of tighten it up. And then you've got a variety of different settings here. Let's take a look at these settings. You can, you can, you've got two different channels of operation, channel one and channel two. Now the reason that they have channel one and channel two is because you can connect two lavaliers or one lavalier and one handheld mic if you want to buy that additionally. So you can actually have two of these running. Um, and then I've got my, my power device. Notice how it is a USB battery powered device so you can charge this up, but you can also connect this to a USB powered device like a power charger or a laptop and it will power it while you're um, presenting. You've got your volume switches here and then you've got your, your mix or your two channel depending on how many devices that you have set up. So this attaches to the back of the phone and you know you can move this around. We've got some leverage with this and I'll show you why that's so important coming up here in just a minute. And then this part you see would go into the phone. Here's what I love about Samson. 
is that Samson has a variety of, of different adapters. So they've even got an iPhone adapter. So whether you want to attach the Samson to a laptop or a, or a Android device or an iPhone device, okay, you've got the capabilities. You've got the capabilities to do that. So we'll plug that in there and then we'll try to plug this in there as much as we can. Remember, it's a dummy phone, so it's not designed to kind of really take power, but that's sort of what that, that setup is gonna look like. Now what we've got is the GoMic uh, mobile handset. And look at this device adapter. That's how you know it's quality. So we plug that in here, and then I'm gonna put this in my pocket. Okay, and now I've got the device all set up. What we'll do is we'll come back to the tripod now. Okay, and now you can see why you can connect the Samsung device to the phone. You've also got the phone on the tripod here. Now what we'll do is we'll go one step farther. We'll connect the Allo clip. Okay, to the back of the, actually the camera's gonna be over here. So we're gonna use the front facing camera. And now we've got, we've got high quality audio. We've got high quality video. And we're ready to shoot. So now I can be here delivering my presentation to a fully systemized, capable audio system that'll look great and it will sound fantastic. We've run a lot of tests with the Samson Go mic, including one from 200 feet away, so listen to how crisp and clear this audio actually sounds. Now, the last thing I wanna show you is your carrying cases. You've gotta have a Go bag ready to just pick up and go. So let me show you my number one case. This is the Bubum, Be Unique, Be Myself, Bubum. It's a three-part case, right? So it's, it opens up here and you've got adapters, I've got battery chargers, I've got my microphones here. Lots of great pockets with lots of great padding. And then this middle section opens up as well and I can keep bigger gear down here, my battery charger, my uh, extra adapters. From time to time, I'll even put in like a handheld microphone if I need to use that. But the Bubum case is essential and it's only like 20 bucks. Again, we've got the Gorilla case right here. The padding comes in one block but you can actually pull the chunks of padding out and customize it to your own specific needs. So very important you get a carrying case so that you can grab and go. As a business owner, you wanna get the video footage that speaks directly to your customers. You don't need to have Hollywood type sound effects. You don't need to have the most expensive camera. You need to deliver a consistent message to your targeted customers in a consistent way and save time for the things that really matter. Speaking of which, it's just about time for me to go deal with some of those things that matter, so let's pack up and we'll head out. Hi. So never forget, guys, that your job here is to do the things that really matter. So keep your mobile shooting system simple, easy to pick up and go so that you can get back to the things in life that really matter. This is Owen Video. We'll see you in the next one.